mentally uh, and physically I'm feeling really good at the moment. It's been really sort of uh, pleasant having some, you know, all the sort of worries lifted off from your shoulders, even temporarily. I mean, it, like with any cancer, you can never say it's gone for good, but um, it's the best possible, you know, first step for me. We had no idea how this, this bone marrow was going to turn out. Uh, and you know the bone marrow transplant was going to turn out for me, and the consultants was you know not seen this, this secondary chronic form of leukemia before, so you know it is without doubt the best possible result. It's the end of a long hard battle against a very complicated form of leukemia, but Adrian can now start to rebuild his life after being given the all clear following a very successful bone marrow transplant. Adrian underwent the life-saving operation back in May, but due to the complex nature of his illness, which saw him fight not one but two types of leukaemia, it was a major worry as to whether or not the transplant would be a complete success. Thankfully though, Adrian's last bone marrow sample showed no traces of either type of the disease, giving him the double or clear. But unfortunately, with some very good news came some equally devastating news when his close friend on the ward sadly lost his fight. But unfortunately, I had, I had some very bad news that same week, pretty much the same day. Um, my best friend on the ward um, for the last 10 months, uh, a chap called Andy Sage, who was um, this uh, fabulous, fabulous character from Sheffield, um, he had a more aggressive type of leukaemia than me, and unfortunately, uh, after his bone marrow transplant, um, he he died, and I had to go and um, I had to go and um, pay my last respects at his funeral on on Saturday. So it's been a really it's been a really difficult time for me. I mean, I, I feel like uh, the world has lost a, a brilliant uh, character and and human being, and yeah, it's it's a timely reminder that I've been really lucky, and um, I mean, you know, I've got to make the most of whatever time I've got left now. Um, it's a real reminder that you know things didn't have to work out as well as they have done for me. Adrian is now focusing on building his fitness level back up by doing some light exercise and if all goes well he will be back at work by the beginning of November. In, as you can imagine I've been lying in hospital bed for 10 months on and off. My whole body in terms of its kind of musculature is, is wasted. And what I need to do now is slowly start to build myself up, begin uh, very brisk walks to begin with, like in the park and so on. And then hopefully move on to light jogging. Um, I've got a you know a bike up here now. I can do some cycling on, and of course to try and do a few weights as well. Um, but that's the next step. Um, I hope to get back to work in November time if possible. Um, but in the meantime, well, that's, that's what I'm going to try and do next.